This morning, News Center 7 is working to learn a person's name who is in custody after a shooting in Greene County. Deputies say they were called to West Senior Street in Bowersville, south of Jamestown, after shots were fired. After arriving, they found one man suffering from a gunshot wound. News Center 7 spoke with a man who says he saw the shooting and he helped the victim. And I heard about six fires. I ended up taking my shirt off to hold the guys, you know, the, the blood to keep him from bleeding out. Right now, News Center 7 is working to learn the victim's name and condition. Once we learn any new information about this case, we'll update you on our WHIO News app. This morning, Dayton police have confirmed they're investigating the death of a 15-month-old. Medics took the baby to the hospital after a home health worker found King Alvin Brown unresponsive last year. A few days later, the child died because investigators say formula blocked his airway. The worker said that was her first day caring for the child. The worker told police Brown had several health disorders, including a digestive disorder. Police will send their investigation to prosecutors in the next few weeks. There is still no verdict in a Harrison Township murder trial. DeAndre Dixon is accused of shooting and killing Gregory Moses inside the victim's home in December. The judge sent the jury home last night and deliberations will resume on Monday. We'll let you know when there is a verdict. The University of Dayton goes on the record saying it has seen an increase in rape allegations and alcohol violations. This came from UD's annual crime and safety report. New Center 7's James Bukley spoke with students about those increases. 1,000 violations. That is how many drivers Dayton police caught for speeding on Riverside Drive. Police tested a new mobile speed trailer in that area for 17 hours this week. This all comes as the city's red light cameras could be back on as early as tomorrow. The city's 10 cameras will run all day, every day at five locations. The Ohio Supreme Court ruled earlier this year a law restricting the camera's use was unconstitutional. The city will give out warnings the first month the cameras are on. Then in November, police will start getting $85 tickets. People will start getting $85 tickets, I should say. To see that list where those cameras will be located, just head to WHIO.com. At this point, Springfield says it has no immediate plans to turn its red light cameras back on. Springfield had 17 cameras at 10 intersections and turned them off two years ago when a new state law required a police officer to be present at the time of the violation. Before that, Springfield used the cameras for about a decade, collecting more than $3 million in fines. The city's law director said they suspended the program until city commissioners can get a complete understanding of the updated law. Today, emergency crews from several states will continue training to save people involved in crashes. This is part of Crash Course Heavy 2017. The training exposes students to five training stations, including heavy lift tow truck operations, bus and semi extrication, along with heavy vehicle stabilization. What we're trying to do is we're trying to train these firefighters and rescue personnel to meet very critical rescue incidents that they may see on the street and don't get to train on every day in the typical training environment. First responders from states surrounding Ohio are involved in the training. Wright State University is celebrating its 50th anniversary this weekend. The university became an independent institution in 1967 and will celebrate during this weekend's homecoming events. The anniversary has led university leaders to reflect on what the school needs to become as it enters its second half century. This milestone comes as Wright State tries to turn the corner on the financial problems that have plagued it for the last two years. It's 9.09, now ahead on New Center 7 Saturday. New schools could be coming to Clark County after the break. See where those schools would be built and how much money that town is asking to make this happen.